time to watch F Cup series that provides probably the toughest fights from Finnish Rally Road. This year, series began in city of Lahti that is 100 km north from Finland's capital Helsinki. Well-known city of winter sports and Luhta clothes factory was now the center for 25th time held Salpausen Rally. Before the start of this season, let's see how things developed last year. Year 2010 was the 20th birthday of FK. When it all started in 1991, first few races showed that even cars meant close battles. Of course, this has been the key element for the much-loved series. Close battles mean breathtaking moments that drivers and spectators like. Every event of the series are driven without pace notes, with two-wheel drive normally aspirated cars. Last year started in Tero Salminen's command. Salminen won the first event on home roads, and as he picked up the second place from the next race, was Salminen leading the pack as they headed for the winter's final race in Kangasniemi. On the spectacular roads of Kangasniemi, it was all about Jere Rekola. His Mercedes flew on high-speed stages, and Rekola took a well-deserved win and led the pack as they headed for the summer season. In the first event of the summer, Rekola had to retire after he rolled the car, but five points from the fifth round still kept him in the lead of the series. In the final race on Ranta Rally Roads, Rekola had to finish in the top five to be the champion. Even though the starting position didn't favor Rekola, he managed to keep his pace, and it looked like the championship was in his bag. Unfortunately, just few kilometers from the finish, Rekola's transmission gave up, and he had to kiss the championship goodbye. That gave the rivalries the chance they wanted. 2008 champion Juha Höckström had nothing to lose. He gave it everything, and with a win from the last race, he clinched the title once again under his belt. This was the eighth time that the title has been won by Toyota Corolla. As mentioned, only normally aspirated and two-wheel driven cars are allowed in F Cup series. Because the rules allow many technical changes, very type of cars are seen in these races. Rear wheel driven Toyotas, Volvos, Mercedeses, and of course Ford Escorts were familiar sights here in Lach. Also, front wheel driven Hondas and Opals competed for the victory in season's first race. Last year's champion Juha Höckström didn't participate this year, but many former champions wanted to renew their title. It seemed that this year was to be the toughest so far. When the morning broke, it was obvious that the front runners might suffer from the snowy conditions. Last year's runner-up, Samuli never led the field in this first race. Never had hoped that it would have rained water instead of the snow, and he wasn't at all confident due to these snowy conditions. He only could hope for the best. Never didn't expect much after the slippery first stage. Never complained that the first section of the stage had been very slippery and probably a lot of time was lost there. Second stage proved everyone wrong as never set the second fastest time and rose to fifth place in the race. Last year's third Oli Labikane wasn't at all satisfied with the weather. Loose snow wouldn't suit his Volvo and he thought that the wind was out of his hands. Samat vanhat kaverit ja muutama uusi siihen on tullut, niin luulen, että niiden kanssa sitä ajetaan taas kilpaa. Sanoppa niitä muutamia uusia, ketä tulee mieleen. No toi yksi kalamies, kohanen nyt ainakin tulee mieleen. And slippery it was. In the first stage, Lavikainen fell 20 seconds behind the lead time. Second went, then a lot better, and the fastest time narrowed the gap to the leader. Rekola of course wanted to win his home event but thought that it wouldn't be easy. In fact the weather was so snowy that Rekola suggested that the winner might be someone with a bigger starting number. Of course he wouldn't give up easily. The task was difficult and according to Jere Rekola's own words, most of the time the car was just sliding around and it was almost impossible to drive. Ninth place didn't please the man at all. 
Jonas Kolehmainen, on the other hand, didn't bother himself with the snowy conditions. No, ihan vituiksi meni, että auto ei lähtenyt pätkällä just käymään, saatiin kymmenen sekuntia. Kolehmainen was ninth fastest on the first stage, but he suffered some difficulties in the second one and dropped down to 14th place. Sami Sandel complained that nothing was right with the man. Only way to make things happen was to push like hell for the rest of the race. Timo Roppa had also difficulties. This minor off was just the beginning. Later on the first stage, Roppa lost more time and he was suddenly a minute behind the leader. Normally Terra Salminen is right there in the front. This time a cold had taken the best out of the man and Salminen was down in 18th place. Reijo Mattila was pleased with the result on the first stage. Unfortunately Gearbox let him down after the second one. Now we take a ride in Jaska Nuorala's Volvo through the first stage. Nuorala had been very consistent through the first stages and he was leading after two. Marching to the second place was only two tenths of a second. Yes, a new car for this season. What do you think about before the race? Um, <laughs> I think it's a very good car and uh, we try to keep a speed high. That sounds good. There's very much power in this BMW. Is it good for this weather? Oh, I think it's very good. Okay, we will see. Best of luck. Thank you. Bihala was right about BMW's power because after two stages he was in sixth place. As you can see, Bihala drove his BMW beautifully and fast roads seemed to suit both the car and the man. Ja auto on totuttu näkemään kärjessä etenkin talvella. Tänään taitaa numero 11 olla korkealla. Toivotaan ainakin, että on tosi korkealla. Mika Rantasalo is one of the fast front wheel runners with his Opel. His special winter rallies have always suited him well and he promised to give his best. And what a start did he gave us. Opel slid just few centimeters off from the line and suddenly there was snow everywhere. Rantasalo had now a whole field ahead of him. Teemu Asunma drove his Beamer well. The drive had been flawless and he lied in 7th place only 7 seconds behind the leader. Mati Nikander was back from motorcycles. He had a new car for this season. The pace was good and Nikander lied in 2nd place. That was a bit of a surprise because Nikander had a year off from car races. As you can see, Nikander's Corolla seems to be in a good form. Kohanen mestari palaa tänä vuonna takaisin sarjaan, millä mieli? No ja millä mielellä lähdet ajaa ja koetaan saa hyvää kaveria. 2006 päältä, niin champion Toni Kuhanen came also back for this year. Mikä He had built himself a budget for this year and hopes were up. Näkee, että ainakin menohaluja on. No ehkä auto oli valmiina ja sai kerättyä sponsseja ja siitä se lähti ja lasketaan nyt mä enemmän se mitä osataan. 
You couldn't tell that Tony Kuhanen had been away for five years. The speed was right there from the start. At the service, he was only nine seconds behind the leader. Believe it or not, it meant tenth place. Also, Timo Jakobsson was in a good form. First stage, he was right behind the leader, and as the second one went as well, was Jagonsari in third place overall. As Jere Rekola mentioned, someone could break through with a bigger starting number. Krista Schörlund was in eighth place with his Toyota Starlet, and even bigger surprise was Teo Karjalainen's drive. Karjalainen was the fastest one on the first stage, and though he dropped a few places on the second one, he was still fourth overall. Karjalainen himself was not so surprised. He had done the stages neatly and thought he could go even faster. Only trouble was that it was his first time on the Lahti roads. Next up was the third stage. Many thought that this tricky stage could change the order on the leaderboard. Jaska Nuorala managed to set the fastest time, but changes came as race went on. The stage was crowded with spectators and they had their share of the winter rally action. Many drivers thought that now was the time to make their move. Unfortunately, some got it all wrong. Jesse Pihala lost a lot of time in this corner. Same was the case with Teemu Asumma and Johannes Kolehmainen, who went off as well. In fact, Kolehmainen rode his car and his race came to an end. <laughs> On the next stage, it was Jere Rekola's time to set the pace. A Merkman had found the confidence to his car and Rekola made his final move. On stage number five, Toni Kuhanen got it all right and with the fastest time he managed to narrow the gap to Nuorala, who was still leading the race when competitors made their final preparations for the last stage. After five stages, top ten was as follows. Tero Salminen had improved his drive and he was up eight places, currently lying in 10th overall. Oli Lavikainen with his Volvo had also driven well. He was 9th, 31 seconds behind the leader. Krista Schörlund was still in 8th place and only a few seconds behind Teo Karjalainen who had dropped down three places. Samuli Neva, Matti Nikander and Timo Jakonsari had their own little battle for the 4th place. They were only six seconds apart. Kuhanen's fine drive was well noticed. Third place was a little better than he had hoped for. Jere Rekola charge was fearsome, but was it too late? Everybody expected that Rekola's big attack would come on the last stage, which practically was his home road. Therefore, Nuorala and Kuhanen had to do their best on the last one too. Leader Jaska Nuorala had not made any mistakes and the lead marching was now over 13 seconds. There was still all to play for in the last stage as the night fell over Lahti Sky. Gap from the leader to ninth place was only 30 seconds, so anything could happen. Before we go to see how the front runners did the last stage, let's take a look how the senior drivers raced had developed. Seniors Cup is for drivers over 40 years of age. Age difference is evened out and younger drivers get more penalty seconds. That way race are very even. These drivers are more or less older champions and cannot be seen as granddads. In fact, on Lahti roads, the fastest senior was 10th fastest overall. Timo Villeneuve got his act together after the service and finally he ended up in 7th place. 
Escosari would have started the race near the front, but had to settle for the sixth place. Harizomi was fifth, but it was close call for him for the third stage. With spare engine, Marco Laxo was lucky to get the fourth place. Leading triplet was in their own league. Christopher couldn't keep up with Kari Kytälä and Juha Korhonen, but third place was his to keep. Kari Kytälä tried everything to catch Juha Korhonen, but this time he had to admit Korhonen's dominance. Korhonen was fastest on every stage, and as a first-timer in the F Cup seniors, start to the season could not have been any better. Also less experienced juniors competed in A and B categories. In A juniors, favorite to take the win was the hometown boy Tuomo Birman. First stage didn't go in his way, and when he rode his escort on the second one, table was set for someone else. As you can see, juniors tried to get always flat out. Heike Thiel didn't take such risks, and he ended up in sixth place. Juha Hentone managed to get two places on the last stage. He was fifth overall, and at the same time the fastest Toyota Starlet in a junior's race. Top four was in its own league. Jaakko Olikala pushed hard through the last stages. This time he had to settle for the fourth place, only 14 seconds separated him from the leader. The last stage was to decide who would take a junior's win. Mika Rambanen set the fastest time and got the victory. In close battle, Ville Ylirönni managed to get the second place as Jonne Luotonen lost some extra time on the last one and dropped down to third. Victory went on now to Opel pair Mika Rampanen with co-driver Juha Arponen. Rampanen said that he had the race under his control even though the gap to the opponents was not so big. In B juniors, many of the drivers drove their first rally. Rally is never easy, and for some first time meant that slip and slides were to expect. Tero Kulmala had shown a huge potential in his first rally, and was one of the favorites to win in Lahti. In B junior cars, they are identical to seniors and national league cars, so you could say that experience is all that counts. Fight for the fifth place went on through the race between Tommy Laaksonen and Jarmo Junni. In the end, only five tenths separated sixth place Laaksonen and fifth place Junni. Jouni Nurmi lacked some power in his BMW in this race, but fourth place pleased him. Time lost to the winner was 39 seconds. Juri Rautavirta was the fastest on stages 3, 4 and 5. It put him up to the third place overall. Good stuff with Mark 1 Golf. Leading pair Tero Kulmala Marko Malinen fought it all the way through the race, but Malinen just wasn't able to catch Kulmala in the closing stages. Kulmala was the favorite to win, and certainly he did so. Toyota Corolla pair Tero Kulmala Samitita was the fastest with 20 second margin. <laughs> As the field headed to the last stage, it seemed that the battle for the win was three man's fight. Jaska Nuorela was leading, but the real question was, could he hold on to his lead? The gap to the second place man, Rekola, was 13 seconds, and then on to Tony Kuhanen, five seconds more. Eight kilometers to go, what would happen?
Yari Koski's race was filled with action, but he managed to get through them all. Good run on the last stage, she got 10th place overall. Even though Teo Karjalainen was only ninth, his run in Lahti was a good one because not many can set the stage records in the F Cup like Karjalainen did. Krista Sherland's steady run gave him the eighth place. It gives him a good starting position for the next round. Only four tenths of a second separated Sherland from Samli Neba. Seventh place was a perfect run with his starting position. Martin Nikander was 19 seconds behind the leader. He was very satisfied with his performance in sixth place. Two seconds faster was Timo Jakonsari, who also proved that the pace was still there. Only Lavikanen had a brilliant run through the last stage. He was the fastest by seven seconds margin. The result lifted him up to fourth place. Both Toni Kuhanen and Jere Rekola tried everything on the last stage. They managed to take few seconds out of Nuorala's lead, but it wasn't enough. Toni Kuhanen had to settle for the third place as Jere Rekola remained second. Nuorala, however, went into the lead on the second stage and never gave up. Jaska Nuorala with his co-driver Antilenone were very satisfied winners in the end. Kyllä se pieni yllätys oli itselle, kun ei talvella oikein viihtynyt ajaa, mutta meni ihan, ihan hyvin kyllä tänään kaikki. Ajo tuntui kyllä vähän tökkivä, mutta se varmaan tökki muillakin sitten vähän sen. No kyllä se on tuolla auton moottoripuolella, että saatiin nyt vahva moottori sinne. Toimii joka alueelta hyvin ja on tehokin nyt enemmän kuin mitä on viime vuosina ollut, niin se niin kuin nyt näkyy ajoissa aika selkeästi. Next time we turn our heads to Yvaskula and to Nesta Rally Roads. Can anybody meet Jaska Nuorala's pace? That remains to be seen. Till next time, bye bye.